Well, hello. This is a little bit different today because what I'm doing today is uh, cleaning my living room. I just, everything gets ahead of me over when school's really busy and the living room is ahead of me. And with that process, I am also in the process of organizing my pen collection for the big reveal of this is my pen collection, uh, which did I promise that Friday? I want to say Friday because that's when it's going to be. Uh, leading up to New Year's, there's also going to be some videos of top 10 favorite pens, modern, top 10 favorite vintage, and top 10 most recommended pens. I'm not quite sure of the schedule that I need to whip out a calendar. This is more impromptu, mainly because I also have my set somewhat torn apart and I thought, well, I thought everything would go faster and it's not. Uh, my set is torn apart and I wanted to I wanted to film one of the top tens today, but that's clearly not going to happen. Uh, got a lot of vacuuming to do down there, and right now the shop vac is upstairs because <laughs> I'm still finishing the living room. So started too many things at once, and now I will need to finish them. But the bonus of that is suddenly it will all finish all at once. I'll be like, whoa, whole new house, instead of, okay, living room's done, now work on the kitchen, now work on the set. You know, it'll just all kind of finish at once. So I know. You're supposed to focus on one area, do that one area well, and then move on. But like I said, I'm not super disorganized. I'm not a hoarder or anything. I just, uh, things get ahead of me. So really, I'm not doing the deep cleaning that you'd think, except for really the organizing of the pen collection. So this video is pen storage. I'm using my lap there it is, lapel mic. And uh, if the audio quality isn't as good, that's why. If the if the sight or the lighting isn't as good, it's because I'm in my living room. It's uh, 1238 right now. Uh, I'm supposed to have a video up by three today. It's supposed to be a pen review, but that's clearly not going to happen. It's not going to be a top 10. So, uh, And I just now see in the preview that I my camcorder is slightly offset. So uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, I'm also looking at, since I've got the pen set going to, or not yet, but pen set is cleaned up, there will be a behind the scenes of how I film videos. So I'll get into some of the technical stuff. Again, not sure when, but uh, kind of expect a plethora of videos. And then I have a whole bunch of uh, um, first impressions I want to film because I want to get those pens in use. And uh, even though you can't, I, my rule is you can't see them on pens in use until they're actually, you know, that you've seen a first impression of them. So let's take a look at pen storage. Let's call this a preview of things to come. I am organizing the pen collection uh, by brand and then uh, next it's going to be by geographical region. And uh, of course I've got my lonely ones like I only own one Montegrappa, I only own one Tucker Sharp, uh, but I'm going to organize that down some more. So, uh, you know, you're looking at my pen collection. Of course, anybody who buys pens is going to have something like this. Now, I will admit the majority of this is not me. The majority of this was actually donated by an extremely, incredibly generous viewer with the idea of me giving it to my students, which... Uh, is going to happen, but in the meantime, there were some pens in here that uh, I had not owned or used, so that was kind of fun. And yes, there will be some pen giveaways to students this spring. Uh, just a few more pen oddities. Uh, some of these I like. Uh, there's one or two here that will probably be sold. I'm looking at doing some selling this spring. Uh, i got to figure out how. That's a topic for another video, but Anyway, I'm looking at that, and a couple that are just good for uh, trying things out. Uh, as I was just transitioning back to the living room, snowplow went by, so yes, it's snowing outside. It's December 26th. Somebody's helping my neighbor out, because that is not my neighbor. I know who he is, but he's being nice to her. So she. Uh, the neighbor is away. I was thinking about going out there, but I'm more of the school of wait till it stops snowing to shovel because I don't need to shovel to go to work because I walk to work. So I shovel when it's convenient for me and it is still snowing, although probably the camera's not picking it up through the screen. There he goes, about to fill up the driveway. That's why I don't shovel till they've been through. 
So on the topic of pen storage, these are some boxes of things that uh, need to find new homes. Uh, and, uh, you know, having yet, there's my laundry that I need to do this afternoon, <laughs> sorry. Uh, glimpse of my chaotic bookshelf, but let's just take a look here. So quite often, no, I've never actually had a drink of that. But the box is convenient. There's, it's filled with books. <laughs> I don't know where I got it from. But anyway, so one of the nice things with pen storage is if you have a little rubber flap here, or a flap, to protect pens on this side from scratching the ones on this side. This one happens to be removable. I suppose if, you're, if you open the case like you're at a pen show or something, that's convenient because you can just pull it out while you're displaying and then put them away. And let me just grab a pen. Don't remember the brand, but it's made in India. But yeah, your pens just have two little loops to hold them. Usually you clip them on and away you go. And whoop! And then these pens on this side don't scratch it. And of course on the outside it's an attractive leather portfolio or faux leather. Oh, here we go, brand. if that means anything. I don't remember where I bought it. Anderson pens, Goulet pens, somewhere else, who knows. This next one here, I know I got from myuberpens.com. Uh, I, I can't make that out on the screen. Er, there we go. Promo Boa. Uh, they said it was a Chinese brand. I like it. I think it's very attractive. It doesn't hold as many pens. But still, same idea. It's got the protective doohickey on it. Uh, the difference here, let me grab a vintage pen. So I'm going to put this vintage arrow in it. The difference here, this only holds it in one place. It's a you know, firm elastic loop. Uh, the idea, at least according to Myober pens when I bought it, was that this doesn't put the stress on your vintage, I don't know, acrylics and stuff like some of the other, um, other two loop packages would. But anyway, it's a, another neat way to store. Uh, it's got kind of a firm outside, a little bit of padding. This other one had same thing. Oh, there went snowplow again. Hard, and then it's kind of squishy outside. So, you know, you got to protect your pen somehow. Sorry about that. Uh, another thing, I don't really eat popcorn, but I have a popcorn box here because books would be donated to the library because I am cleaning up not just fountain pens, I'm cleaning up other things. My monstrosity because my 1930s slash 1920s slash 19 whatever's house doesn't have enough outlets, although in its defense they are modern outlets. So uh, nothing very high voltage plugged into it because I know better. But anyway, in case you saw that in the background, now you know. Okay, so this is... Okay, now I think the brown one was from uh, Goulet Pens because I'm recognizing the brand here. This is an interesting case. Um, let me close it up here. It has snaps to hold it shut. Handles that you can pull out if you're carrying it around. Like, a, like again, you're at a pen show or something. Um, I would say as a retailer, not necessarily as a I'm going to the pen show type of person because this is a bit overkill because this is a 96 pen case. So you open, there's the handle, you open this side and again they're not in there right now but here space for 48 pens. Just like that. Uh, it's a bit of a problem with your smaller pens. Let's see if I can have one handy here. Got to make sure I put this back in the right spot, too, because these are sort of sorted. My smaller pens, like this Caveco uh, Lilliput, doesn't fit well in this. Another pen that doesn't fit well in this, this Rotrink. It's too big. Ah, I'm fat. That was kind of not PC, but <laughs> it doesn't fit. But uh, anyway, 96 pen case. And on the other side, whoops, 
another 48, which is how you get 96. So all in all, oops, I, I still have my snaps <laughs> snapped. <laughs> okay, this is a disaster. All in all, you have all of this of pens. So again, nice one for at home to store your pens because it'll go nicely on the bookshelf. Or uh, if you're selling pens at a pen show, this is a good one because uh, you can have lots of pens in it. And they all fold up into this nice, nice convenient carrier. Sitting down on the, on the couch now, I'm going to show you one other pen carrier. Uh, this is what I take to work every day. Now, not necessarily these pens, and they're not clipped into it, but it is a way to store pens. So this is a nice little case. I've got a variety of pens in it. I'm on break, but let's take them out. I don't think any of them are particularly high value right now. Because I'm, okay, there's one. I, I'm getting ready for the big pen show, and I've been cleaning pens out like crazy. Uh, so, whoops. So it just has two straps to hold them in. Usually you clip right here. Uh, this flap, although I haven't used this feature much, there's all kinds of more storage here, which uh, you know I think you could put in post-its or a ruler or a pair of scissors or something. Uh, little note cards, something like that to carry. Um, there's actually pockets outside too that I've never used. This is made by, oh, Design for Arrangement. I don't know who makes this one. I know where I bought it. I bought it at Jet Pens. Yeah, made in China. Oh, Lihit Labs. Okay. So it's Lihit Labs. And of course, uh, some of my pens do not go into a pen case ever. Okay, one of my pens does not go into a pen case ever. Uh, this is an Omas Ogiva pen case I purchased it in. Uh, I really should put the lid on it, but, uh, you know, this is a pen I use. Uh, you can expect a video on that soonish. So, uh, yeah. And there's a pencil cup here, but guess how many fountain pens are in it? None. Because I want to keep them safe. I don't feel safe putting them in it. And that is a totally different pen. That is an electronic pen for a Wacom Intuos tablet. It has absolutely nothing to do with the fountain pen world. So this was all a bit impromptu, and uh, sorry for that. But, uh, you know, just as I was cleaning, I thought, do a video on pen storage. Uh, again, the big pen show of my collection, you saw a preview there, will be on Friday, hopefully at 3 o'clock. I hopefully will get the uh, living room cleaned up because I've decided the only way I can do this is in the living room because uh, my facilities downstairs are not adequate for this. And... Uh, and again, expect some top tens, possibly starting tomorrow if I get the set put back together. I could do them up here, but then it's really hard to do uh, close-ups of the pens without being sloppy. So, uh, yeah, look forward to that. So I want to thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you had a very happy holiday. And look forward to more coming this week, and uh, a lot of batch filming for me that will pay dividends after school starts again next week. So thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.